welcome to another video i am the star man now i am making my way into my local park which is stanley park here in blackpool uh, because last night this was where i got my first sighting of comet neowise yes i saw comet neowise last night or should i say this morning at about um 3 a.m yes i got a call off uh, a fellow astronomy society member at um, about half past two this morning and he sent me a text message and he said are you watching uh, Comet Neowise and I said no I'm fast asleep in bed or at least I was and it was quite weird really because normally a text message ding the ding I get on the text message doesn't um, would not be enough to wake me up but anyway um, I don't think I've ever thrown a set of clothes on fast enough and got outside the house and he also said that it was inside the uh, the Noctilucent clouds, which was another thing as well, because uh, the comet is inside the Noctilucent clouds. So anyway, I came back out, and the first place I thought of coming to was here, Stanley Park, because as you can see, if you can see behind me, if this camera's tracking me right, we're in quite an open. It's actually quite windy today. I hope this wind wind isn't playing on the microphone. I came to I came here to Stanley Park because it was the only place that I could think of where that was close by that I would have a chance of getting a clear shot of this comet you know um, with a low horizon um, and, and relatively dark as well uh, so when I came into the park I, I had a rough idea where it was so I made my way down the track where I've just come now and I made my way roughly to where I'm stood now and I want to show you exactly where I saw Comet Neowise last night and I want to give you some kind of idea of um, what you need to do to be able to find it and um, I was very surprised that once I'd used the Bright Star Capella which I spoke about in my last video um, about the comet that you can use the, the Star Capella to help locate the comet once I'd done that I was very surprised at how bright the comet was and how easy it was to see by the naked eye I was really surprised now if you listen to the papers the media whatever they're gonna blow it all up and say it lights up the city it's nothing like that but I tell you something it was absolutely spectacular I think this could be one of the best comets I've ever seen I've seen quite a few comets in my time and probably the last comet I've seen that was anywhere near as good as this one was probably um, Comet Panstars back in 2013 Comet C 2011 pan stars but anyway i want to show you now i'm going to turn the camera around towards you've already seen the picture on the thumbnail so i want to turn the camera around and show you exactly where i got this this uh, picture of the comet and how how you can locate it just to give you some idea of of where you need to look right okay so i'm now in my local park and you might be able to see a clock tower over there now that's interesting because i actually wanted to see if i could get the the comet over the clock tower but unfortunately there's so many trees over there that and and the comet was actually in this part of the sky and there's no way i could go over that part of the sky uh, that part of the park to get the comet without the trees being in the way so i couldn't get it over the clock tower so what i did do the clock tower there is looking roughly north um if you're on this uh, path here now if we're looking towards these trees over here we're actually looking towards the northeast and can you see that tree that's stuck out there you'll notice it from my photograph now i was actually stood pretty much where i am now and that the, the comet was between the tree and that um, floodlight which is a floodlight for an all weather court um, now if i was to put my hand out so forgive me if this doesn't quite work on your screen a hand at arm's length it, the camera's a bit closer than my head you see it's about 10 degrees so i'm guessing that the comet was somewhere around 10 degrees in height maybe a little bit less from this um from where i am now it was around 10 degrees up at the time i captured it now that was at about um three o'clock um, and that's quite important because i mentioned in the last video that um, you need to try and capture the comet when the sun is somewhere below 10 degrees below the horizon because when the sun is so far below the horizon the sky starts to brighten up and you'll notice 
We also had some not to lose in clouds as well down here, not to lose in clouds. I noticed later on that those not to lose in clouds started to dis disappear and that means that uh, the sky was getting too bright then and then we weren't able to see the comet again. So I hope this gives you some idea. So this is looking towards the northeast and um, it was about three o'clock which is probably about the latest you can reasonably capture it before the sky starts to get a bit too bright. I was just on the edge, I would have liked to have been here a little bit earlier and the comet would have been a little bit further this way, maybe slightly lower down, not too much lower down. It might have even been in the not to lose in clouds as well if I'd have got it earlier. But anyway, I managed to get it and I was really pleased. And anyway, tonight, as you can see, the, the, the sky is really clear at the moment. Now, that's interesting because tonight, if it stays like this, um, we're in for a real chance of capturing the comet and this time I'll capture it properly. I'll go somewhere and, and try to capture it over um, a landmark or something like that. Yeah, I think the ideal time to capture the comet, it kind of depends on where your location is. Um, for where I am, um, mid-latitude in the UK, I'm 53 degrees. The best time for me to have caught the comet was probably by three o'clock at the latest. So I'd say any time between two o'clock and three o'clock, the earlier you are out, the lower the comet will be. And maybe the more difficult it'll be to see. If you're out too late, say if you're out after three o'clock, you've got a chance of seeing it. Um, might be a struggle if you live up in Scotland or something like that, because it'll have more twilight at that time. But if you live further south, you can probably see it a bit later on. What you need to remember is, if you can find an app that tells you how far below the sun is, below the horizon at night, make sure it's below 10 degrees below the horizon because when it's above 10 degrees below the horizon, the sky starts to get a bit too bright then. And then we're almost getting into, uh, well, we're getting into um, nautical twilight then. And that's when the sky gets too bright to see the comet. But anyway, it was awesome, absolutely awesome. Really pleased I saw it. I'm really pleased uh, my friend sent me a text and I managed to hear it and I, and I got the comet. And um, I hope that this video gives you some idea of how to locate it. Like I say, hold your hand out at arm's length um, and that's 10 degrees. Your palm turned over is 10 degrees if you hold it out at arm's length and that's the, the comet will be no higher than 10 degrees certainly from where i am it might be different um where you are but um anyway that's it um i wish you luck in finding the comet i think we're going to be in luck here possibly tonight it's looking really really clear um, i'm certainly going to go out again properly this time tonight and, and try to find this comet and try to capture it somewhere um somewhere a bit further away somewhere where i can get a landmark or, or, or something else a bit special uh, so that's it uh, thanks for watching um, hit the subscribe button if you like these videos by the way and um, i will see you again on another video